you reach the Java interview question, which is going to check how much you as a programmer is up to date with the Java new features and new versions. Imagine you have an interface called payment, and now you have a class called UPI payment that implements payment, and you have another class called card payment that also implements the payment interface. Now this used to be your ecosystem, but someday there is another developer came and written this class called cash payment that also implements the payment interface. But your client didn't want that. Your client called you and asked you to do some changes in the payment interface so that only UPI payment and card payment can implement the payment interface and no other new classes like cash payment should not able to implement the payment interface. So now you as a developer knows that the client wants some kind of restriction for this interface called payment. And there is no such clean way to do things like this before Java 17. But you are a smart developer knows about the new features of Java. So you came over here and introduced a keyword called sealed. Now you want to seal this interface called payment and you want to have some restriction by setting up the permits. And right over here, you want to define the classes that you want to permit. Like UPI payment should be able to implement the payment interface. And the another one is card payment. So let's just add this over here. There you go. Now, as you can see, these two classes that you used to have in your ecosystem is compiling fine. But here, the cash payment cannot implement the payment interface right now because this interface is sealed. So a sealed interface can help you to restrict and control the inheritance hierarchy. But look at this implemented classes, UPI payment or card payment, they both are marked as final. But why these classes are final? Because Java says, hey developer, Define the inheritance hierarchy for this class right now at the compile time. No surprises later. That means by marking this classes as final, you are saying these classes cannot be subclassed or extended later. But if you're going to remove this final, you're going to straight away get a compilation error because the Java want you to define how this class will be inherited further. For an example, without writing final, I can write over here non-sealed. That means this class UPA payment can be further be subclassed and can be extended by the other classes. But I can mark this class as final because I don't want it to be subclassed later. Or if you want, you can define this class as sealed again and can permit which class can extend it later. For an example, I can write build desk. So you can have another class called build desk, which can extend to card payment, but you can again mark this class as final or sealed like this or non-sealed like this. These are the three allowed keywords. But here is a quick question for you. If I'm gonna remove this non-sealed and to avoid this compilation error, if I'm gonna define this class as record, then how this is working? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.